Alright. I'm going to install the Magna R transmitter link that goes with the Magna hopper. Alright. First of all, you're going to need to take the grip off and all the screws out and all that. And then you're going to want to take the battery out just for safety purposes so you don't ruin the gun. Alright. Um, I have the Virtue board. This is the E-Tech 2. This is the Virtue redefined board. Um, it's probably a little bit different from the stock board. I haven't really looked at um, the difference between them installing this anyway. Um, you're just going to want to slide the board out of these two little hinges on the top. And then if you look on the left, right there, it says SOL, um, which means solenoid. And then the ones below it are the eyes. Alright, so you're going to want to just gently grasp the solenoid one, which is the top one, and pull it out. And be very gentle, because if you break it, you're screwed. Alright, this is what comes with our transmitter link. comes with a couple of these, um, different ones fit different guns. Um, you just have to match it up, whichever one fits um, all the things, alright? This one goes to the ETAC, pretty sure. Let me see. Alright, yeah, this one goes to the ETAC, or the Virtue Board, which is, this one is a quick, quick, um, plug and play operation. Um, which means you just basically plug the thing in and it works. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Alright, so you're just gonna, gonna want to ease this in there really, you know, gently. Very gently. How gently? Very gently. Alright. Just don't don't use too much force on this thing or else it's probably gonna break. And it goes to your solenoid. Um in the instruction manual it does say that some guns you're gonna have to solder it to the mat um the solenoid. Um I have no idea what that means. I I'm pretty sure it means like welding. But I don't I don't have to do it so I'm not gonna show you that. Um I would suggest going to your local store to get that done rather than asking me because I don't know that alright first um, I'm going to get out of here it's my fag brother Dan alright I'm going to attach the solenoid the solenoid connector hey I'm going to attach the solenoid into the first we'll connector on YouTube, guys, I'm not going on YouTube. Making mad long. Keep the fag. Alright. So you're going to put that. These are two different um, switch like connectors. That one right there goes into your solenoid. And this one right here is where you take the actual RF transmitter link out. And you're going to connect it into this right here. That should just click in really easy. Alright. Now I'm going to install the battery because you're going to want to find a place to put the actual RF board in somewhere in your trigger or the trigger frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to put mine right in between here, the board and the battery. Just make sure all the wires are uh, push, pushed down so nothing's going to get uh, clamped or stuck in there when you put the grip sprack back on. And make sure that you're not blocking your um, trigger thing, for how it's called. So uh, that's how you install the RF transmitter link. Slick 94, thanks. Yeah.